irreversible means we cannot go back to the ancestral forms irrevocable means a structure which is lost is lost forever there is change in uh, this uh, jaws jaws are otherwise very protruded they became linear so these all changes took place in human evolution now we cannot get to protruded jaws nor we can revert back to quadrupedalism next one is dolos rule or dolls rule or law dolos rule or dolls rule or law see this rule was given by Louis Dolo, a Belgian paleontologist, put the side heading definition. This rule or law states that evolution is irreversible. and irrevocable that means we cannot reverse the changes that have taken place in the course of evolution or a structure which is lost in the course of evolution cannot reappear again irreversible means we cannot go back to the ancestral forms irrevocable means a structure which is lost is lost forever different stages in the course of evolution a stage by stage reversal to its original ancestral form that means evolution is or evolution cannot be reversed next once a structure or form once a structure or form is lost in the course of evolution it cannot reappear again it cannot reappear again that means evolution is irrevocable that means evolution is irrevocable examples formation of race species and genus in various plants and animals so once a different species is formed it cannot go back to its original form that is what is this one second example see no fishes which are put under the super class spices or generally class spices these are nothing but fishes so fishes respire by means of what very good fishes respire by gills after fishes in the evolution you have amphibians say for example frog and other things which can live both in land and water are amphibians so this frog respires by means of what huh? gills are last year these respire by means of skin buccopharyngeal cavity and lungs that means gills are lost in amphibians next stage after amphibians you have reptiles reptiles are like lizards 
crocodiles, snakes. These respire by means of what? Lungs. Frog? Ah. Tadpole to what? <laughs> ah. Ah, but they are lost in adult. You get my point. Yeah, On that basis, totally adult. Mm, adult only because they will stay as adult only, no? See, maybe because uh, you don't know completely that is the problem. See, different stages are there in uh, egg-laying animals, particularly amphibians. Like egg, uh, these animals lay egg. Egg develops into larva. Larva develops into pupa, and pupa develops into adult. You get my point. This whole process is known as metamorphosis. Going in this particular fashion is progressive metamorphosis. Going in reverse direction is retrogressive metamorphosis. You get my point. So you are thinking about this larval stage which is tadpole stage. Larva is known as tadpole in amphibians. You get my point? So you know one thing but you did not know the complete one. This is the life cycle. You get my point? <coughs> so we are seeing about which forms? <coughs> Larva or adult? Adult only, no? So here. Next in birds. Birds are known as aves. You have lungs. Even in mammals, like human being, you have lungs for respiration. That means gills which are lost are lost forever. They did not appear anywhere in evolution. So evolution is irreversible and irrevocable. Yes, please write. If you want to write like this, you can write. Will be will you be able to understand or you want me to say dictator? No. Please write. Please write. Now in uh, in course of another example, third example. See, human evolution, if you take uh, bipedalism and this is erect posture. So, we initially started from quadrupedalism and uh, semi-erect posture and slowly bipedalism, semi-erect posture and then bipedalism, erect posture. With that one, there are so many changes in pelvis, pelvic girdle. There is change in uh, this uh, jaws. Jaws are otherwise very protruded. There is change in uh, this uh, jaws jaws are otherwise very protruded they became linear so these all changes took place in human evolution now we cannot get to protruded jaws nor we can revert back to quadrupedalism isn't it see exceptions first wings you know for example flying dinosaur you would have seen in movies, not, isn't it? So, wings which appeared first in reptiles, in case of flying dinosaurs, were lost in all other reptiles. Again, wings appeared in aves, which are birds. They were again lost in mammals, but again appeared in flying mammal. Can you tell what which is a flying mammal? Bat. 
So you can see a structure which last appeared several times in the course of evolution. This disproves the particular. Yes, done. Next one is criticism. See, it says law or rule. The very term law or rule is criticized because it has no substantive similarity with that of laws of physics or chemistry because a law or a rule is always bound to happen. There will be no exceptions to a law or rule. For example, you throw something, it will always fall down no? gravitational force or gravitational law. Isn't it? So, this is not a law. So, this is Dolo's rule.